So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen what is indentation in Python and why this is so important in Python, right? So now on this video we will be working on a project, Hangman Game. It's a, you can say mini project for uh, beginners, right? We are going to create a game, Hangman Game. I hope you have heard about this game or you have played this game, you know the rules and all. If you don't know, it's okay. In this video I will give you just, you know, a brief intro about this game and with the help of example I will show you what kind of output should be there, how to play this game, right? So basically this game is a guessing game for two players or more than two players. Suppose I am having uh, like two player, first and second, first player and second player. So first player will guess a word, any word can be there, fruits, food, any vegetable name, uh, you know, animal name, birds name, any name can be there, right? Suppose I have uh, guessed apple. Right? I will not tell the second player I have guessed apple. Fine? So like whenever you you will run this. So I have guessed like apple. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 letters are there. Only these 5 blank spaces are shown to the second player. Not this word. Right? So now second player have to guess this word by suggesting the letters. Right? But within a limited number of guesses it's not like that just there are unlimited number of guesses and unlimited attempts you will get no there are limited attempts right hangman basically it's like we have a hangman this this is the uh, head the body of the that figure then two hands and legs so basically we have like we consider that we have six lives one two three four five six right within six attempts you have to guess the correct word suppose my guess is second player have guessed x so this is this is not present here this letter so means you have guessed wrong letter and you will lose a life lose a life means i'll be the first player will be starting to draw the hangman figure so i'll draw first of all the head right Suppose second guess is A. Now A is correct. A is in this word. So at correct position, I will place this letter A. Right? So now you will not lose a life. Suppose in third guess, you have guessed Y. Y is not present means you have guessed wrong letter. So you are going to lose a life. And let's draw one more part of the hangman figure. That is the body of this hangman. Right? Now next guess is suppose Z, this is also not correct, so I will draw one hand. Next guess is suppose M, this is also not present, so I will draw second hand. The first player will draw second hand. Now you are having only two lives, one for this leg, one for this leg. Once the figure is complete means this would be hand or die. M means you, will, you are going to lose. Suppose next guess is E, so I will place this E here. Next is P. So, I will place P and P here. Only one is remaining. Next guess is suppose B. That is not correct. One leg. Next guess is C. It is also not correct. Second. Game over. Means you lose. Because the hangman figure is complete. Means it's hanged. Means you let a kind person die. Right? Or maybe you are still having one life and you have guessed correct. L. L means you are going to win the this letter is complete the word is complete means game over so two conditions for game over if the word is complete there is no blank space here in the word then game over you are going to win the message would be displayed you are going to win second game uh, second condition to you know for for this uh, for game over is what you are out of your lives Right? You have consumed all your, all your attempt, six attempts, right? Means that's it game over. You are going to, at this point of time, message would be printed, you are going to, you lose. So this is what a hangman game, right? I hope you got this now, how to play this game, right? Let me just show you the output, how, you know, output should look like, right? Okay, so this kind of output would be there if you, whenever you will run this project. Like maybe first line, let's play hangman and we have only six lives. So it will show you, you have only six lives. So try to guess the word within six attempts. Good luck, right? 
now it has already guessed a word we don't know what is what the word is but the word is having one two three four five five letters and it will show only blank spaces so guess a letter suppose i am guessing x so x is not there so it will show you you guessed x that is not present in the word so you lose a life lose a life means now see the head head this of that hangman figure would be added to this figure right now again guess a letter suppose a okay a is present so at the position at first it will put a here now i guess you have guessed this letter so now it will again ask guess a letter so i am suppose b see b is not present so it will again draw the body of the hangman right u u is also not present it will show one hand of the hangman would be drawn next is let's say something like this o that is also not present m not present so we are remaining only with one life only because one lag is remaining if this leg is complete hangman figure is complete and you are going to lose so if i can guess a letter is p so p is present p and p okay i know what is this l okay l and then e e so it's apple you win means you have guessed this letter before the segment figure is complete right so now you you are going to win right if if i run this again see it is uh, next suppose x this is not present l not present g not present e not present u not present p yeah p is present first position right so we are left with only one life so let me just guess d not present so hangman figure is complete and you lose right so now you have the idea what is hangman game and how to play this the rules and all right now the second part of this this thing is what this project is what you have to create a flow chart first because we have a complex problem how to you know uh, divide this complex problem into smaller tasks smaller ones so just draw flow chart you can write down algorithm and draw flow chart to better you know understand this problem try to draw flow chart first then write start writing program right so in the next video we will be drawing the flow chart so now we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care